everybody. Uh, I know it's been a while since I've uh, recorded a video, and uh, I've just been really busy with work and uh, had some computer issues too. But anyway, finally found some time to put a video together for you. Um, it's nice to see you all. Um, but uh, today, I was, was the topic I've been wanting to cover for a little bit um, is actually engine management. Um, so as you can see, I'm actually in the Cessna 172 with a Garmin G1000 in it, and I'm doing this because I, I'm using the autopilot for climb. Um, basically, what we're going to talk about is uh, mixture control. And so if we look at our engine instruments here, if we look at our engine instruments here, we'll see that we have you know, our oil pressure, oil temperature, our EGT, which is exhaust gas temperature. Um, and then let's see, gallons per hour. Yeah, so we can look at EGT and our RPM. And as we go up above like 3,000 feet, this is when we start needing to work with our mixture. Right now we're in full rich, um, but you know as we get higher, the alt the air thins out, and so now all of a sudden, you know, as the higher we go, the more rich the mixture will be. Um, so we're going to need to lean out the mixture in order to keep a good running engine. So we're at uh, 3,600 feet now, and we look at the RPM, we can see our RPM is dropping. Um, and our exhaust gas temperature is dropping as well. The more fuel rich you are, the cooler your engine runs, but also we're not, we don't have the right mixture now, so we're almost like flooding the engine with gas, and, and it's drop, making our RPM drop a bit the higher we go. So there's two different ways we can think about this. Um, in the 152, um, not, not all of them have an exhaust gas temperature, so the most basic way is you'll lean out your mixture until your RPM rises and peaks out and starts to fall again, and then you go back to the rich a little bit. And there's, I'm not gonna, uh, there's a debate raging, really, if you should run um, lean of peak or rich of peak, and that's a raging argument. So you can do either, whatever you're comfortable with. Typically what I would do is if I'm renting an airplane or borrowing an airplane, um, I would ask the owner, what do you prefer I do with your airplane? Do you want me to run lean a peak or rich a peak? And do whatever they tell you to do. <laughs> um, but anyway, we're going to do a little bit of rich a peak on this one. So as you can see, we're down at 2,450. We are at almost 5,000 feet. And you can see we're not climbing as well either. I've set for 900 feet per minute climb, and we're doing 600. Um, let's see if we can get the engine to come up a little bit more. So we'll just lean out a little bit, and what we're going to do is watch the RPM, and they should rise. And the more I lean out, the higher it should go, but then it'll start dropping, like I said. And that's the point where we want to go rich again. So let's start doing that. We'll start pulling the mixture out a little bit. So there Go. 25, 2460, 2470, and so what you want to do is pull it out a little bit, let it settle, and then pull some more. There's 2480, pull a little more. Nothing. Oh, see it's starting to drop again, so let's push it back in a little bit and get back up to 2480. And so now we're fairly leaned based on the RPM. Now the, so we're good for 5,000. We're going up to 85, so we should probably, we'll end up having to do this again because our RPMs will drop. Um, and this next time we'll look at the EGT and see if we see if we can't do it that way. So let's, we'll go for a few minutes until we see the RPM start dropping, and we'll gain a few more thousand feet here. And I'm just going to drop down to 500 feet per minute. Keep some speed. We're getting awfully slow here. All right, so we're a little less than a minute away from uh, our cruising altitude of 8,500. 8, uh, we're climbing at 450 feet per minute. You may have noticed I switched from vertical speed mode, uh, which was over here, to indicated airspeed uh, or flight level change. Um, that way it can maintain 90 knots and we get whatever climb we get, but that's a topic for another video. I've actually covered it in a, a few other uh, videos, I think the VR ones, I think I touched on it. Um, but I might go over the autopilot if, the, if you guys think that's something you want. Uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, but anyway, for engine management and basically leaning and how to handle your mixture, um, 
you notice as I decreased the uh, level, the um, rate of climb, the RPMs went up, of course. Um, without struggling, it's hard to, to climb and it putting much strain on the engine. So we're at 2,600 RPM now, which is higher than we were before, but that's okay. We still need to lean because we've gained over 3,000 feet from where we were. So I'm actually, since we're leveling out, I'm going to pull the throttle back a little bit because we don't want to be up that high. Usually about 2,400 or so um, is a good cruising RPM. There we are. It up. There we go. 2400 RPM, about 2410. Um, it's a good cruising altitude. It's good for the fuel. You see the fuel flow came down a little bit. But let's take a look now and watch the EGT. See, it's down here. And if we pull the, the mixture out just a little bit, um, it'd be down. You know, this mixture, I'm gonna, I have my Bravo control, so I'm going to use that. But let's pay attention to the exhaust gas temperature right here. All right. So that's where it is. And if I pull the mixture out a little bit, we should see it rise. See, it's rising up a little bit. And now it's coming back down, so we want to actually put more in. So put the mixture back in a little bit. Just till it starts to come down again. And there we are. And the RPM didn't change too much, so we were pretty close. So if we descend now, and let's see, let's descend down to 2,000. Yeah, 2,500 is fine. All right, and then let's do that with... Uh, Indicated airspeed of 90. Okay. And we'll pull the throttle out. So the same sort of thing's going to happen on the descent. Um, we're going to end up finding we're too lean, and it's the EGT will end up going up. The RPMs will change on us, and we're going to have to richen as we go lower. So as we get a bit low, I'll move along here, and uh, when we start getting to the need to adjust our mixture, I'll uh, come back to normal speed. All right, so as we're approaching our new cruise altitude, 2,500 feet, we're gonna end up leveling off. I'll increase the throttle. We haven't touched the mixture yet at all. Um, we are creeping up on 25, so let's start bringing in some throttle. We'll go back up to 2,400 RPM. At about 2,400, roughly. And uh, if we look now at our, as we were, as we're leveling out, we're increasing as we're speeding up. Pretty sensitive. All right, close enough. Um, so we see our EGT now is it's pretty high because we're pretty lean. We have not leaned out at all yet, as you can see. So, if we now bring our, our, we could technically go full rich at this point, we're only 2,500 feet, but let's watch what happens as we slowly go rich. So I'm gonna add a little bit of mixture onto the rich side. We see the EGT coming down and the RPMs increasing. So slowly adding more, you see the EGT coming down? Right here. And 
there. That's full rich now. So we've gained, what, 40, 50 RPM just by richening up. So the engine's performing better. Now, if I lean it back out, we should see the EGT rise. Trying to watch for it right there. Now it's coming back down again, so I'm too lean. So let's add some more mixture back in. So it just starts to come back down again. Right there. So now we're at 2440. That's actually a good mixture spot right there for 2500 feet on this 29.92 inch barometric day. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much all there is to mixture. I'll probably hop into the 152 and show you there because this one's modeled after fuel injected and everything else. So it's a, you know, a little finickier, um, but I think it might be a little more dramatic in the 152. So I might pop in there real quick uh, and show you what it's like in that one. All right, so here we are in the 152. Um, we're climbing out. I'm trimmed for climb speed of about 70. Let's see. Trying to head about west. We got full rich at the moment. And yeah, I'm not seeing any EGT gauges or anything like that. So we're going to, in the 152, we're going to rely solely on the RPM. So if we can keep an eye on that uh, as we get up, we're just over 3,000 feet. And typically you don't have to start leaning until after, you know, 3,000 feet. Um, depending on the uh, altitude of your airport. I mean, if your airport's already at 8,000 feet, well, you might want to lean on the ground a little bit. But, you know, most of the airports I fly out of are pretty close to sea level. So you don't really have to worry about it until over 3,000 feet. Um, so just depending on where you are. And uh, so yeah, let's just keep climbing a little bit and uh, I'll come back when it's time to do some leaning. All right, we're getting pretty close here to 8,000 and you can actually hear it in the engine now if you listen. We were at 2,500 RPM over here. You can see it's dropped a little bit, but you can hear it. It's not firing quite right. So all we have is the RPM. So I'm going to lean a little bit to bring that RPM back up. And so you see the RPM move just ever so slightly. And you can hear it in the engine. See, this is full rich. RPM drops a little bit and you can hear the engine struggling. Lean it out a little. And suddenly the engine sounds healthier and the RPMs went back up. If you lead it too far, obviously it'll shut down, but See, now the RPM's coming down because I'm too lean. So bring it back up a little bit. And there, we have a good mixture control. So we can see now that we're pulled out about that far on the mixture handle. And you can hear the difference again this way. If I put it all the way in, you can hear the engine going, fading. Pull it out, you can hear the engine feeling better. reset here because we don't have autopilot this time I want to make sure we're not going crazy all right let me try leveling off a little bit here we'll pull the power out to about 24 and we'll pitch over just a little
gain some speed. Trim it out a little. That's pretty good. Okay. So again, we look at our RPM. Pull out the mixture too much. RPMs drop. Push more mixture in to go rich. We hit peak. And if you put too much fuel in, you see the RPMs dropping a little bit. So you want to pull it back until the RPMs reach their highest point. Keep pulling back until it starts to drop a little. Keep pulling it back. Keep pulling it back. Slowly. A little more. There, RPMs are starting to drop and then we richen it up just a little bit to get to that peak. And just a touch richer is what I do. And there we are. Mixture is trimmed out. So anyway, I hope that helps somebody. Um, I know it's not a super interesting topic, but it is good engine management because, you know, you want to take care of your engine um, as you're flying along. So I hope you found it enjoyable. Um, you leave me some comments in, uh, below as to what you might want to see next. Um, I've got a couple ideas tossing around. And... Uh, you know, we'll go from there. I've actually thought about doing some live streams, too. Because, um, it, it, honestly, it, it, it's easier to do a live stream than to try to, you know, record a video, edit it, and so forth. So, and I get some interaction with you guys if you like, too. So, uh, let me know what you think of that. And uh, we'll catch you in the next one.